Hello people of the internet, Megan here, and time for another Memory Lane video. So, I did High School Musical 1, only makes sense for me to continue on and do High School Musical 2. Alright, so what do I remember from High School Musical 2? I remember the songs being catchy as hell. I remember most of the songs. I remember Sharpay was annoying as hell still. And came out in 2007. So depending on what time in 2007 it was, I was either 15 or 16. So I was either a freshman still or going into my sophomore year of high school. And I honestly can't remember if I liked it more or less than the first one. And just looking back on what I remember, for a Disney sequel, it wasn't that bad. Or, you know, just for a sequel in general. Alright, so that's what I remember from before watching High School Musical 2. So let's see what I have for my thoughts and opinions while I was re-watching High School Musical 2. <laughs> my first thought that I wrote down was during the opening song, when there are basketballs all over the ground, my thought was, <laughs> damn kids still can't pick up after themselves. I noticed that a lot of the characters went through some fashion changes, be it at different haircut or hairstyle, or me just feeling like they dressed differently from High School Musical 1. I felt for the poor janitors who was going to be stuck picking up all the basketballs and all the papers that were being tossed around during the opening song. Yes, that is rude. That's rude. Don't be doing that to the poor janitors. They are not paid enough to deal with purposeful messes. Oh god, you know you're old when you start sympathizing for the poor janitors who have to clean up the after effects of all this instead of focusing on the music itself. I felt slightly embarrassed by how many of the songs I could still sing along to. Still talking about the beginning here while they're still at the school. The fact that like 95% of the kids don't seem to have jobs was shocking to me. The necklace that Troy gave Gabriella kind of gave me mixed feelings. Like at first it's like, oh that's cute, he's giving her some jewelry. But at the same time it's like, why are you giving her your initial? It just felt weird that she just had a necklace with a T pendant on it. I don't know if it's the fact that I'm older now and I don't like possessiveness, but it felt like that was weird. Like if it was both their initials, like a T and a G, that'd be really freaking cute. But since it was just a T, I was just like, that's a little weird. I was very annoyed that the drama between Sharpay and everyone else was still a thing. Like I know it didn't like really get settled in the last one. So uh, like I guess it makes sense that this little rivalry is still going on, but it was annoying all the same. I totally forgot about the song Fabulous. I forgot that was a thing. And holy heck, that whole song just must have been so much fun to like film Zeke in his baking, forever adorable. Man who can bake and cook is instantly like 10 times more attractive. When the Wildcats were complaining about working, just stupid little things, it's like, guys, welcome to the work world. Suck it up. <laughs> Them just getting too real about the college and future talk, far too real for me. Oh my god. High school flashbacks were intense. Sharpay was just bordering on sexual harassment the entire time Troy was working. Just... Wow. If I was Troy, I'd be weirded out as hell over Sharpay's dad being that interested in me and my future. It's like, we've never talked and me and your child aren't really friends. Why are you so interested in me? It's kind of weird. I really do like how in this movie, Ryan isn't just the dumb brother to Sharpay. Like in the first one, it felt like that he was really dumbed down and just super reliant on Sharpay. And then there's just the general like incesty vibe from uh, the whole first movie between them. So I do like how he kind of grew a backbone, for lack of better words, in this. And super sweet of Gabriella to try and include him in her and her friends like activities. I thought it was really sweet. I vaguely remember I don't dance, like very, very vaguely, and just <laughs> for Chad. For someone who does not dance, he sure danced a whole lot in that song. Just, that's one thing that kind of is weird to me in these kind of movies, High School Musical and such, 
It's like, you got a character like Chad Mingo, like, the uh, dancing and singing is for losers, yada yada yada, and then they take part in the musical numbers. I was majorly annoyed at Troy getting so jealous over Ryan and Gabriella hanging out. It's like, dude, do you not trust your girlfriend at all, first of all. Second of all, you're hanging out with Sharpay quite a bit, and Sharpay has made it blatantly obvious that she is interested in you, not just in this movie, but in the last. If anyone has a right to be jealous, it's Gabriella. Also super annoyed how Troy <laughs> didn't seem to understand why his friends started being distant and not being happy with him. It's like, dude, you've been ditching them, like, the whole summer. Of course they're gonna be annoyed at you. And for the entire song, Gotta Go My Own Way, I was just cheering Gabriella on. Like, yeah, you don't need a boyfriend like that. And just, I feel like that whole song, he wasn't listening to a word she was saying. I actually wrote one of his few lines in that song, Why do you have to go? Troy, have you not been listening to a thing she was saying? Oh my god, the song Ben on it still gets to me. Just the overly intense expression and dance moves that Troy does during that song cracked me the hell up. I just found it hilarious, beyond all belief. For one of my notes, I actually just wrote in capital letters, LOLing. Like, he was on a golf course for that song, and just, I kept on picturing golfers, like, driving by in the little golf carts, looking over and being all like, the hell is that kid doing? What is that kid going on about? Is he okay? Do we need to call someone? I absolutely adored every day. I thought it was such a cute song, it was catchy, it was pretty to listen to, and it was probably one of my favorite songs out of this movie. I did really like how there's a bit more resolution between Sharpay and everyone else in this movie, something we did not get at all in the last movie, so I liked how we got that. Alright, so overall thoughts on High School Musical 2. For a Disney sequel, especially a DCOM sequel, it was pretty good. Still not sure if I like this one more or the other one more. It's kind of close for me. Definitely like the ending for High School Musical 2 more. So much more. I like resolution. I like when things come to a nice close. And this was major nostalgic feels for me. This was major nostalgic feels for me. And it was really interesting going back and rewatching it. Like I said before, I really liked how Ryan wasn't just the dumb little sidekick brother in this movie. We got to see more of a personality from him. Since I was still in early high school when the sequel came out, the whole talk of the future in college didn't hit me as hard back then. Because it's like, oh, that's still quite a ways away. No worries, it's not real to me. But now that I'm older by like... Oh god. But now that I'm older by like 10 years, 11 years, it's like, oh my god, that talk is so real. Much realer than I would expect from a Disney Channel original movie. <laughs> and yeah, like I said, major nostalgia feels. So yeah, that's me talking about High School Musical 2. <laughs> Don't have much more to add other than if anyone has any future memory lane suggestions for me, be it a movie, TV show, game, food item, let me know and I will try to get to it as soon as I am able to. So yeah, that's it for this video and I hope to see you guys next time.